Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audi File Record Views. Thank you very much for my video. Please like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate that. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the, um, well, actually all of them, because I don't have a lot of them, to be honest with you. All of the analog productions, acoustic sounds, UHQR box sets that I have. I'm going to show you the, um, the MoFi, the Mobile Fidelity One Step, uh, album sets I have and some uh, from uh, Craft Recordings, their one steps, and one from Impex Recordings. I'm going to do something about that Impex Recording issue, me, me just having one Impex uh, Deluxe box set. I plan to pre-order the Getz Gilberto uh, box set in um, January 2024. They make excellent reissue box sets. This record here is not part of the video, it's just sitting in the background. The electric prunes, mass, and F minor. It's not part of the deluxe box sets that I'm going to mention. I think they reissued those this year. I think they reissued may, maybe this one, or at least a couple of electric prunes records were reissued in 2023. I'm going to have to uh, get those as well in 2024. A different conversation for a different time. But I'm going to get started with um, these deluxe box sets. I thought I'd show you these. I spent a lot of time, or not, I shouldn't say a lot of time, but a few videos in 2023 showing my uh, thrift store finds. So I thought I'd show you some of my more deluxe uh, box sets. You know, the high, more higher end ones. Um, uh, the UHQRs, like I said, the One Steps from Mobile Fidelity and the... Um, Craft recordings and MPEX. I think that covers them all, I think, but we'll see. Well, I'm going to start with this one here. And I'm not going to get into like a review or commentary on sound quality per se. This is just more or less of a uh, give you an idea of what I have. And I think maybe two or three of these I've, I've done reviews on in separate videos. But this is the Carol King Tapestry from uh, Mobile Fidelity MoFi box set. And um, I think this is a, one of the ones where Mobile Fidelity pretty much lied about their manufacturing process and did not mention the fact that they were using DSD in the manufacturing process. I don't know if people really mind if it's in there or not, to be honest with you, because some, some of these record sets that do have DSD in the manufacturing chain, actually some, some of them sound spectacular. I don't know if you can see, but it's not part of this the literature that he put in the sets. I have to get yeah, three of them like that in this um, uh, list of uh, records that I have. But um, it's unfortunate they had to uh, deceive the consumer. It did not mention that DSD was part of the manufacturing chain. <clears throat> Highly unfortunate. This is a Miles Davis, a relaxing with Miles Davis. Um, I did not do a video on, on this record, but I have the uh, Analog Productions Acoustic Sounds version of this record, which I believe is a 33 and a third. And quite honest with you, I prefer the uh, Analog Productions a little bit better than this one, although this one sounds sounds fine. This is like $109. I think the Analog Productions was a 33 and a third and didn't cost that much money. The Jimi Hendrix... Are you experienced? UHQR by Analog Productions. I like this one, but there's a uh, one I bought at Walmart that um, doesn't sound as good as that one, but it sounds actually just fine. One of the greatest singers of all time. Mobile Fidelity One Step, Ultrasonic, Ultra Disc One Step. Janis Joplin's Pearl album. What a great singer she was. Now, these two I recently got not too long ago. They're still seals, I ain't sealed. I hadn't even got to them yet. And I don't even know if I'm going to get to them uh, throughout the holidays. This one is Black Orpheus, the Vince Guaraldi Trio. This is on uh, the Craft Recordings one-step version of the record. And I didn't get this all that long ago. And I'm looking forward to listening to this because I have a, a earlier pressing of this. Actually, a couple of earlier pressings of this record. Brilliant Corners by Brother Thelonious Monk. Craft Recordings there. One Step. 
these two, this one I got on sale along with the um, Black Orpheus. It was like some like $27 off. So I couldn't afford to pass on that one because I love the records. This is one of the best analog production excuse it sounds UHQR uh, box sets that I have. I think if I were to rate the box sets, they're UHQRs. I think I'll put this in second. I'll uh, tell you which one I think is first coming up soon. But this is a, it comes in second. They have a, um, a 33 and a third version of this record, uh, Analog Productions. And I wish they would come out with a, a 45 RPM version of this a UHQR, just on standard vinyl. And I think a lot of people would buy it. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of people would rather pay, you know, $60, $70 versus $150 plus shipping. But this is a, this is a fabulous sounding uh, UHQR record, in my opinion. And the Impex... This is the um, Patricia Barber Cafe Blue, and this is the only Impex One Step that I have, but I plan to buy the uh, pre-order to get Gilberto in January tw uh, 2024, if it's still available. This is an amazing sounding record, by the way, in my opinion. And the Miles Davis, which one is this? This is a 33 and a third UHQR version of Kind of Blue, a spectacular sounding UHQR record. And this one is a 45 RPM version of the record. Everything's boosted up, the sonics, the details, the depth dimension and sound stage, the 45 RPM version. Miles Davis, kind of blue. Sounds spectacular. This is not a one step, nor is it, or is it, is it a UHQR? But I thought I would show it. And this is the uh, MoFi, the Mobile Fidelity Miles Davis 45 RPM box set. I think this sounds just fine. It really does. Has a little bit more bass than a, a UHQR, in my opinion, but for the price point is a, a awesome sounding version of Miles Davis kind of blue in my opinion and Asia countdown to not Asia this is Steely Dan I should say UHQR analog productions countdown to ecstasy and this is the greatest sounding UHQR that I have and I, like I said admittedly I don't I do not have all of them I, I simply do not but this is a Steely Dan Asia, and this is the best sounding UHQR Analog Productions box set that I have. Followed closely, very closely, by the um, Coltrane and Love Supreme. Both of them. It's almost like they're 1A and 1B. They both sound spectacular. This is a MoFi Mobile Fidelity One Step, Ultrasonic One Step, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. I just love this band. What a great band they were. Just, just simply spectacular. They just, they were just tight. They just, just, the vocals and the instruments, the, the horn section, just amazing. Now this one is some, somewhat controversial. A lot of people can see that this is the best. I mean, the worst. Pretzel Logic is the worst uh, UHQR issued by Analog Productions. Now I did a re, um, a video on this uh, record, on this box set, and I compared it to uh, to an earlier version I had. And in my opinion, this sounds better than the earlier version that I have, but not by much. But most disagree with that opinion. Most disagree with that opinion, and they can see that this is the worst, I believe, the worst sounding analog productions acoustic sounds UHQR ever produced. Um, I, I give, like I said, I, I give that a slight edge over the original copy that I have, but I'm in an extreme minority in that way of thinking. A lot of people didn't just were not into that uh, version of Pretzel Logic. And the last one, Steely Dan. Can't buy a thrill. As you can tell, I'm a huge Steely Dan fan. They were out, Steely Dan was issuing their records um, throughout my elementary school years, junior high school years, and I was really vibing and grooving to that band in a heavy way. During my high school years, I just love Steely Dan, and I plan to buy the whole series. 
I don't buy records just to be a completist. I buy, especially these UHQR box sets and these deluxe box sets. I buy them simply because I love the music. Um, and I plan to buy the uh, remaining uh, UHQR Steely Dan box sets when they're issued. At least I hope I'd be able to purchase them when they're issued in 2024. There are some uh, UHQR box sets I simply didn't buy. I did not buy the White Stripes UHQR box sets. There was a Bob Marley box set that was issued, and I wish I would have bought it, but I didn't. I think there was another, um, what was it, um, Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix box set that was issued. Maybe one or two more, I'm not sure. But those are my um, UHQR and MoFi and MPEX and Craft Recordings more deluxe one-step box sets. And I thought I'd share them with uh, my audience. Like I said, I'm, I, I've been showing some of the used record uh, finds from thrift stores in a lot of my videos. So I thought I'd do this video. But thank you very much for viewing my video. And if you have some uh, deluxe box sets you want to mention in the comment section, feel free. But thank you very much for viewing my video. God bless. Strong love. And keep the peace worldwide.